I am with Knights uh, head baseball coach Gary Puccio, whose team is coming off a series win at Maryland Eastern Shore earlier this week where they took two out of three games. Now, Coach, how does it feel to finally get that first series behind you and the fact that you're also won two out of three? Well, obviously the winning is great. It obviously helps, but I just was very happy with the way they played and very happy with their hustle most of the weekend. I thought that was the major thing as we played hard all the way throughout and when you play hard good things happen and uh, we were lucky enough that that happened immediately this weekend. Now game one you guys were up 8-6 late. They came back and scored three in the ninth. Game two you guys bounced back behind Melchiori's performance and then in game three you, you jumped out to a early lead and saw that evaporate and actually were down 20-10 to 10 at one point. You guys chipped back and cut it down to six with uh, in the ninth inning down, going, went into the sixth inning down twenty to fourteen, and you ended up coming back and scoring eight runs to win. Um, can you give us a little perspective of what was going on in the dugout in that ninth inning? You know, it was very exciting. The uh, we had two on and two out. We were down twenty fourteen, and I I kept saying to them all through that game as we were down twenty ten, get me a run this inning. Let's get a run back. Let's try to do something here and see if it helps us and put ourselves back in a shot of at least getting within reach. What finally happened was we got to that 2014 and something magical happened. We hit a ball towards the second baseman. The second baseman leaped for it, just clicked off his glove and ended up a base hit. We hit another ground ball that the third baseman wasn't able to handle and all of a sudden bases were loaded. And the next thing you know, there's a ball in the gap, there's a hit, there's another ball just outside the reach of someone and, and it's 2019 and Nick Melchiori's up and making his first college at bat. He triples in two, and you almost could just feel right there that this was an incredible comeback. Scotty Morrison cashed him in to make sure we even had an insurance run. And Spencer Kelly, who should have saved all three games, the first game, when you say, you know, the other team came back, I think it was more our mistakes rather than them coming back because Spencer should have had a one, two, three inning for the most part. The first game, it was uh, a little bit learning how to win, and we still don't know how to do that yet. And hopefully, as the weekend went on, we learned how to win. That second game was big, went in 3-2. And the comeback we had in the ninth inning was absolutely incredible. Spence came on and became tied the all-time save leader. It was a nice way to start the season. Now you guys are 2-1. and one. It's the first time the FDU has been 2-1 and one since the start of the 2007 season. You have a pair of games this weekend now at the Fordham University against NJIT and St. Peter's. Now, what are the, the keys you feel like in order to build on the momentum from this past weekend? I always don't talk to them about winning and losing. I try to talk to them about level of play and improving our level of play. I want us to get a little more consistent defensively. I want us to get a little more consistent with runners on third, trying to score runs, and obviously more consistent with our pitching. Our pitching was probably our biggest problem all weekend, though all three starters did leave with the lead. Actually, two of the three starters, I guess, left with the lead. So I, I was... I think the key to us is we just got to keep playing hard and just keep trying to improve and not worry so much about wins and losses right now. These are non-conference games. I'm, I don't think anyone expects an at-large bid, so this is more about teaching and learning than it is about winning right now. All right. Well, Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.